Now we shall convert this binary number into a decimal number. So first we have to write the given binary number. And now we have to multiply this one along with 2 to the power of the position value of this number. So the position value of that number is 0 and so it will be 2 to the power 0. Similarly, this has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 1. And the next number has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 2. And this number has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 3. And then the next number has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 4. And this number has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 5. And the last number has to be multiplied with 2 to the power 6. And so this is 2 power 0 is 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is always 1. So 1 into 1 is 1. And this is 0. And this is 0. And this is 2 power 3 which is 8. And this is 0. And 2 power 5 into 1. So that is 32. And 2 power 6 is 64 multiplied with 1 is 64. Now we have to take the total of these numbers. So when we sum all these numbers, we get 105. So the decimal number for the binary number 1101001 is 105. Now we shall convert this decimal number into a binary number and we shall check whether we get this binary number. So now let us take this 105 and we have to divide, keep on dividing it by 2. And so that is 5 and 2 and the remainder will be 1 because 105 is not exactly divisible by 2. The closest number divisible by 2 is 104 and the number should be lesser than 105. The closer, closest number lesser than 105 is 104 which is divisible by 2 52 times and so the remainder left out while dividing 105 by 2 will be 1 and then now we have to divide 52 by 2 and so that is 26 and it's exactly divisible and so the remainder is 0 and then we have to divide 26 by 2 which is 13 and so here also the remainder is 0 now 13 divided by 2 is 13 is not divisible by 2 the number lesser than 13 divisible divisible by 2 is 12 and that is 6 times and the remainder left out will be 1 and now 2 has 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 and the remainder will be 0 now 2 1 times 2 and the remainder will be 1 now when we arrive at 1 over here we have to stop the division and we have to write the binary number from here to this position. So the binary number corresponding to 105 will be 1 and then this 1 0 1 0 0 and 1. So if we check along with this number.